Hello and welcome back all of you my dear students to our new video. Now today we will be starting our next chapter that is the ninth chapter that is agriculture. Now in this chapter we are all going to learn about what is agriculture, what are the different types of agriculture, why do we do this thing that is called as agriculture, why is it important for our nation and our overall development of human society and livelihood. Now you might have been wondering that uh, like yes agriculture stands in a most important place in our lives because you see we all require food like the basic need of man is food shelter and clothing and agriculture is the most important source of the first need that is food now you might have wondered about uh, how did we started the agriculture so before getting right into the chapter i will just give you a background regarding how did we came in the evolution phase of humans from uh, moving around here and there and gathering the food for eating and then settling at what place for doing agriculture and growing our own food now agriculture is nothing but one type of a word that we use for uh, denoting something that we call as growing someone own food okay someone's own food that is what is called as agriculture now you see growing your own food is a kind of power that we have discovered in this nature like you can see how do we grow food we will just plant a seed in the soil okay we will sow a seed sorry and then it will grow eventually with itself okay it will grow in the nature by some processes which the basic laws of nature will be applied on it and that will sprout into a plant so first of all when we talk about the stone age man and uh, if you have learned in your history about the homo habilis okay right, right now we are talking about history of agriculture so if you have uh, known this thing the um, evolution of mankind and the phase in which the humans were in the homo habilis period or the era of life or the evolution this man was gathering his food from the trees from the roots of the plants and different other sources so he was just basically collecting the food or we can say he was gathering the food he did not knew about how a food or a fruit sorry is grown in the nature so he just knew that he or his body needs something to be functioning and in order to function and this particular things is what we use okay as food like fruits then roots of the plants then uh, meat of the animals is what this man used but eventually what happened he saw that the fruits that he was he was consuming day by day is getting depleted in the amount or the number like the number of the fruits on a particular tree or a in particular place they were decreasing as he was eating day by day again the population of the humans were also increasing in that age so he saw that uh, the shortage of food is causing me to go from one place to another place to find this food so eventually what happened he started to eat okay first of all he was eating just fruits and as i told you roots of a particular uh, species of plant then when he saw the shortage of food was caused due to this consumption of the food that was growing on the trees he saw that now i may feel the shortage of this food so what he did is that he started to eat the meat of the animals that were nearby him like small animals 
and he started to kill these animals and then he started to eat them then what happened this killing of animal that we call as hunting grew very fast and what happened due to the over hunting of certain animals what happened is that the number of animals also got depleted over ages and they saw that the animals were going extinct so again this was going to uh, extinct this animals were also going to extinct now eventually what is there for us to eat so there was one method he discovered like he observed in the nature that how a seed grows into a huge plant or a tree and how this tree gives us the fruit to eat so this is how he saw he observed these things and he decided one day to plant or to sow a seed in the soil and he observed this seed uh, over a few period of time then he saw that there was some sprouting then some small leaves are coming out some stem is coming out and then he saw over the years that this plant this small tiny seed that he had sown in the ground grew into a large huge tree which was going to give him the fruits and required food for the next generation so this is how he started to do this thing called as sowing of the seed and growing the plants out of it and this sowing is nothing but it is a part of what we today know as agriculture now why it is a culture because it is a practice that we do each year everywhere on the planet so that it could be ensuring us this thing that is the basic need of humans so i hope you might have got to understand a little bit about how the agriculture has actually started on this planet and how did man got engaged into this agricultural activities so we will study uh, some more details about what is this agriculture how is it done and what are the impacts of agriculture on the development of a country now as we have discussed in the previous all videos regarding humans and the particular nature of the development of the society we have seen that humans are the most important factor when we see or when we talk about the development of a society now if we want a healthy amount of the development of a society we first need to make sure that the humans that are living in that particular area or a region these humans are well developed now when we talk about well developed humans we will say that there are three things that are the most important basic needs of this humans now all of you know what it is it is food shelter and clothing now if three, uh, if these three things are provided to humans then humans can work on different tasks which will help to develop a particular nation now you can see on the very first is the food now why is it at the top of the hierarchy in the basic needs it is because without this food humans cannot survive like just you might have seen uh, people are fasting okay for few days okay they can handle it up to few days let's say 10 15 20 days they can handle it but after 20 days it is difficult like yes there is a limit of 40 days like 40 days a person can live without food but after that like you see in this 40 days he cannot do any kind of work he cannot even get up from the bed he cannot even walk run and do certain specific tasks his mind will not be able to concentrate on one particular thing so such things happen so that is why you see food is what we use to eat daily now why do we eat this food daily it is to get energy now only 
when a particular person or human will have some energy then only he or she is able to do a particular task and what are the tasks that we do we do certain tasks so that we could develop ourselves like we will get education whatever education means to you it is for your development we will do a job whatever a job is we will do it for our own development we will do certain works that are like related everything is related with development like you see development of technology development of border security why we all we are all doing this it is for development purpose only now the energy that we require will be we will be getting it from the food but where will we get this food from so that is why you see this is how agriculture is necessary for us now let's talk about what are the different uh, aspects of agriculture and how does it impact the nation now as we are discussing about nation the most important thing is about national development or progress so national development like today we are just discussing about the importance of agriculture in the process of a nation building or nation development so national development is as i told you dependent upon the humans and humans require food as the basic need and that food is provided by agriculture now the population of humans are increasing or is increasing day by day as we all know that we are 137 crore peoples and people sorry and that is why you see we require a lot of amount of food for ourselves so that we could ensure that everyone has some energy to do a particular work now when we talk about agriculture it involves certain things like it involves the most important thing that is land because without land where are we going to do this agriculture then it requires certain tools right we cannot just go there on the agricultural field or a land and we will just dig out something with our hands and we will plant something into it it doesn't happen like that we require certain tools now we require some processes to be followed okay so that is why we require certain processes which are mandatory to follow because without these processes we cannot get any output out of that thing then it involves land tool processes and the people of course who will work in this field so that is why we call it as labor or work force okay work force or the man that will be uh, doing the work on the field then in order to drive these tools we need certain technology or we need certain animals to drive the tools that are used into this particular farm so we will uh, talk about tools in the workforce only but if you talk about scientific usage of these tools without the uh, interference of humans okay without much interference of human labor then we will require science and technology for that purpose then for developing the technology we need certain technicians who are well equipped with the uh, technology and who can develop this certain techniques or certain uh, machines so that they could be used on the farms so we require certain people who are educated so we will write educated people who will also help with uh, their own knowledge in the technological aspect and this technological aspect will help us grow more food in less time then it also requires fertilizers right fertilizers then pesticides then insecticide and all these different things so fertilizers and we will write here pesticides so as you see these are the different aspects that are linked with agriculture and one of the most important aspect 
if the climate if everything is there but only climate does not supports us then all of this availability will be of no use because this is what is one of the most important factor that determines if the crops will grow properly or not so we will discuss about everything regarding land what types of land use we go through like under the agricultural activities like there is forest then there is a rural area then there is urban area there are sub urban areas so in which place there will be more agricultural land available so of course you will say the rural area are what where we find a lot of agricultural activities are done then tools like you might have seen shovels and the tractors are pulling all these things then you might have seen plugs that uh, the bulls are carrying over themselves and they drive it over the entire field so driving the tools it requires again labor or man force or work force for working on it then the processes like you see sowing again first of all before that tilling the ground then sowing then harvesting all these processes are involved in it then again technology as i told you about tractors and different things that we use like motors uh, to take out the water from the underground water aquifers technology is lot of uh, used in that thing then in order to develop technology we need educated people who will get uh, who will have well equipped knowledge uh, knowledge regarding all these different thing then in order to make fertilizers we will need a lot of different resources like if we are talking about organic fertilizers we will use different materials but if we want to make pesticides like there are organic pesticides and then there are chemical pesticides also so it depends which things we use and then climate now climate will show like as i hope you remember the topic which we in which we have discussed about different zones on the earth okay so there are few zones like the middle one is called as tropical zone okay tropical then uh, temperate okay temperate temperate and last one is frigid zone okay frigid or polar zone now in this all this uh, or different uh, places you see the temperature is different so tropical there will be a particular range of temperature then in temperate temperate zones it will be less than the tropical region and then in the frigid it will be very much less so there are certain types of species of plants that are supported or that could grow in the tropical region that are not able to grow in the temperate zones because why the temperature is very low and there are certain microorganisms that will help the plant to grow in that tropical region so the plants that will grow in tropical regions are not supposed to be found in the temperate zone because of certain reasons of the climatic conditions then in the polar regions you might see that there are very few types of plants like tundra region like we have studied in our i think 6th chapter regarding the regions of the earth in that tundra region i hope you remember that big uh, type of sorry big type of plants okay which are having triangular shape of the leaves and all these things so we will discuss about this land tools processes everything that is involved under the heading of the agriculture and we will also look at what are the different types of agriculture now you see these things are what these things are related to the agriculture as a process but agriculture as an occupation we will study it in our next video so until next video take care and bye